nightclub in terrible Manila. Terrible tragedy, underscoring the need for global cooperation in this American war against terrorism. Were the, intended the Secretary of the Navy has been making personal calls to the families a of the victims, and we understand Manila, he's Manila. on a plane to San Diego. The Secretary of the Navy is on his way right now. A car bomb has gone off in the Arita district of Manila this morning. Colonel, 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 Colonel. 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 Yes, has anyone claimed responsibility? Not this time. General Hendro Priano of Indonesian intelligence has connected the terrorist groups Abu Sayyaf and Jamaa Islamiyah. Well, those would be the obvious two choices, but having just spoken to General Hendro Priano, I would have to say that you're putting words in his mouth. Is there any truth to the rumor that we knew about this ahead of time? There are over 50 lives lost as of this hour, most of them U.S. servicemen. If we knew, we would not be having this press conference. Thank you. So you're saying we knew? Twelve days ago, this man walked into our embassy in Phnom Penh. Khmer Tep. Grew up in Lowell, Massachusetts. Cambodian refugee from the Pol Pot era. What was he doing in Phnom Penh? We deported him four months ago. He pulled a gun on a kid when he was 17. Convicted felon. So when he applied for citizenship earlier this year... We nailed him. Put him on a plane to a country he never knew. Maybe he got there and he found some people who could extract some revenge. Although that wasn't the tone of the meeting, Miss Chen. He said he wanted to come home. You blame him? Said he hoped this information would be his ticket. Where'd he get it? Wouldn't say. He was defensive, vague. The CIA team that was interviewing him said they thought it was a ploy. So they buried the report? No. They said it was unlikely that a westernized kid like this could come by that kind of information. So they sent it on with a low mark. What about the drug trade? Jamal Islamaya is getting into the heroin business large. Float it down the Mekong River from the Golden Triangle. Ship it out of ports on the Gulf of Thailand. Yeah, we've got Mo over there now. You saying Tep's working for them? There are a lot of traffickers on the Mekong. I mean, he could have picked it up like office gossip. Wouldn't be the first deportee to get into the drug trade. Although his mother says that's not exactly his style. Is she in law? She is. And the three of you are wheels up in 20 minutes to go pay her a visit. Tep also claims he heard there's going to be a larger attack on American soil. Said he'd try to come back with more details. That was the last we saw of him in the embassy that day. Charlie Brothers looking for him, Cambodian police. He's disappeared. We gotta find him. I want him back here. You understand? My family there. They all dead. What does he know of Cambodia? Nothing. It's very important for us to find him. Then you will bring Kiman back to me. We can't promise anything. Deportation is a very complicated issue. She wants us to leave. Mrs. Tap, we can't do anything until we locate your son. Now, I'm sure you miss him. At least help us find him. When they took Kamir, she told him that he should look up on Uncle Sam. He lives in the jungle outside our old village called Preku. Uncle Sam? A man. White man. He was a soldier from the war. Vietnam War. He was wounded. A Cambodian woman took him in. He never went back to war. If he was wounded in Cambodia, it was probably special forces. So this man, Uncle Sam, is there now? He work, he said. He was a smuggler, a trafficker, and he knew a lot of the secret trails in the mountains. And when Pol Pot started killing people, he helped her and many others escape. To Vietnam? I was grateful to him. I want to name my baby boy after him. After this Uncle Sam? His real name. Khmer is not an American name. That's the way refugee camp write it down. Not Khmer. His name was Ki Me. Ki Me. Kilmer? Yes. Yes.
Uncle Sam was named Kilmer. John's father was um, declared missing in action during the Vietnam War. Every morning, the president receives a report that updates the most active threats against the United States. This report is called the Threat Matrix. The Department of Homeland Security handpicked teams of agents from the CIA, the FBI, and the NSA to analyze and respond to the Threat Matrix report. Now, their job is to keep us safe. Lieutenant Joseph Kilmer, 5th Special Forces Group, assigned to Max Sog to conduct highly classified operations in Zone Bravo of Cambodia. There were deep penetration missions, mostly surveillance of the Ho Chi Minh Trail. To see what the Viet Cong were sending down the Mekong River from the north. And your father disappeared? Late 68. He and his sergeant, Ray Miller, were dropped 10 miles across the border due west of Loch Nan. They were radio silent, so the pilot who flew him in was the last person to see him. And after the war? A couple of MIE groups went to look for remains, but... Whether he is your father or not, this Uncle Sam is the man we have to find. If he's been running drugs in the area, then it's likely it's where Premier Tep got his information about the bombing. Mo and the Charlie brothers who interviewed Tep are on their way up to Preku. They'll get a head start while you're in the air. It's not him, Frankie. How can you be so sure? If he were alive, he would have come home. Go 46 east and it looks like Arizona. See, the jungle down there was destroyed by Agent Orange, carpet bombing, and civilization. Saigon summer was come right up to the border. Down there, that's the land that time forgot. Might have something to do with all the landmines. Tens of thousands of them planted by the Khmer Rouge to keep the peasants in and the Vietnamese out. They should be there now, 12 hour time difference. I'm heading back up to Lowell to work on Mrs. Tep. She's gonna wanna know what we can do for her son. She wants us to bring him home. Well, she's smart enough to use what she knows as a bargaining chip. Tell her we can't do anything, it's policy. We've deported 126 other Cambodian refugees. Should we bring them home too? Most of them were serial felons. They're not US citizens. They grew up here. Committed crimes here. So we send them back to a country they don't know, many without relatives still living there, no contacts, no jobs, all because of one misstep they might have made when they were a kid. In Tep's case, yes. And that makes sense to you? No. No more than living here for 26 years and not becoming a citizen. Any deal would require presidential approval, you know that, Frankie. And you didn't come here to negotiate for Mrs. Tep. What do you know about Uncle Sam? He was most likely special ops. We lost a lot of them in Cambodia. We know that he took a common law wife, that he helped a lot of Cambodians like Mrs. Tep and her son escape the Khmer Rouge. We know he doesn't want to be found. And he doesn't want to come back. Is he John's father? When I first heard the, the name Kilmer, I was as surprised as I'm sure you were. If I'd known, I would have told John, personally. Then you think it's true? I think it's a possibility. Stories get twisted, names get changed. It's been a long time. How's John taking it? I think he's afraid of what he's going to find.
Your parents live near you. Uh, no. They must not like that. Oh, uh, my parents are dead in the step. So soon? You young woman. Yeah, they died in a car accident when I was 10. Will my car be safe parked outside? There were some young men. They okay. The Cambodian gang. Khmer gang. Khmer was in a gang? Yes. When we come in 78, the black gang, Chinese gang, boys need to be in gang. For protection? Yes. We refugee, not immigrant. Big difference. No help, no program, nothing. USA, live here, then walk away, like you do to come here in Cambodia now. Mrs. Tapp, I understand that our government and your eyes has not been fair to you or your son. And I understand that I can't possibly know what you've been through. But I'd like to try. I'd like to sit here today and listen to you, listen to your story, because it may be the only way that we can locate your son. Isn't that what you want to? The Charlie brothers and I canvassed the villagers yesterday. If they seen Tep, they aren't talking. What about Uncle Sam? Won't even acknowledge he exists. They're protecting him. It's more than that. These people have grown up in fear. With the Vietnamese, Pol Pot, now the drug runners, the only way to stay alive is to keep tight-lipped. We're gonna have to find Tep and Uncle Sam ourselves. Yeah, it feels like we're wasting our time here. Well, we're not gonna go feeling our way through the jungle at night. Moore and Lund have gone on to the next hamlet. We'll join them in the morning. Hey, the guys who interviewed Tep in Phnom Penh? Yeah, they're the only company operatives in the area. I know Kip Loon. Spent some time with him in Karachi. He said not to play poker with you. Oh, but you will, because you have nothing better to do. The Khmer Rouge. They killed the men. My husband. They block all the road out. Have us walk in field. Hard work. No food. Then, one day, they tear some of us. They give us big feast next night. Big feast? Lemongrass fish soup, roast beef, fried fish. That what they do before they kill you, give you a big feast, then take you in the field the next morning. Tell me how you found Uncle Sam. They gather us in town. We, 20 maybe, teachers, a doctor, people who could read. We were very scared. Know what they planned. At night, same come. What did he look like? Like Cambodia men, only clothes. You see not? I heard of him, but never see him. People say he like ghost. He told us, follow him, very careful. Oh, no, we mean to jungle. Was the jungle mined? But he knew way. He live in there. He knew way through. I need you to take me through your trip. Every step of the way. So, uh, Mo's turning in. Yeah, he's on local time. My stomach's telling me I just missed lunch. I'm having a sleeping pill sandwich. You want me to make you one? No, I'll, uh, I'll turn in pretty soon. I, uh, I didn't tell my mother about this. Do you think that's wrong? You can't. It's, uh, classified. She waited for him. 20 years she waited, flying an MIA flag off our front porch. If 
finally took it down and married her backer. Nice guy? I like him. Then it's all good in the end. Night, Kilmer. Kilmer! Yeah, what is it? They keep saying they're Americans. The American agents are down the street. <laughs> More in line. The Charlie brothers. Looks like they found our John Mass Lamia. Jelani, I'm getting these off the window glass. How do they look? Excellent. How soon can we get an ID on the print? General Hendro's allowed us access into the Indonesian database. There's a match I have it for you in, say, a couple of minutes. You got some good voodoo, and Karachi would have taken us a week. Yeah, Colonel, they checked into an inn in Frock last night. That's about 10 clicks northwest of here. Called into HQ after dinner. It's the last anybody heard from them. The GPS locators went down about 2 in the morning. Are you going up there? I'm sending Mo as soon as I get a forensics team up here from Phnom Penh. Cambodians want to lead the investigation. That means we won't find out anything. Yep. I think that's a pretty clear message for the locals to keep quiet. Is there any discussion there about a special op? And I could sure use some men. State won't allow it. We can do a small search for Tep and Uncle Sam, but that's it. Under the circumstances, I'm not sure it's worth it. And what's the body count in that Manila bombing? 53. Point taken. Any chatter about a second bomb? Nothing specific, but the general level coming out of Indonesia is increasing. Listen, John, even if you find Tep and Uncle Sam, and if we've lost two Charlies, my bet is we've lost them too. It's still only a maybe that they have any information about another attack. Are you ordering us home? You know I won't do that. But if this mission is purely personal... It's not. If it becomes that... It won't. So what's your next move? She remembers a downed aircraft wing marking the entrance to the jungle path. It's through a field, directly behind the end. Hey, we're at the edge of the field. I see the wing. Not much of it left. Oh, it's been over 25 years. There are warning signs. The field might still have mines. Mrs. Tepp, you said that the field behind the inn was mined? Yes. We follow Sam one by one behind. Straight. And where did you start? Was there any kind of marker that you remember? It was so dark. I remember. I trip on something. Scare me. I think maybe mine. But it's a little sh shrine. Is that what? Yeah. Half berry. Cut me. You get that, John? We got it. Did they go straight to the plane? Yes, a straight line. Then Uncle Sam went back and covered their tracks. How long would it take to sweep a path with mine detectors? A couple hours once they got here. See all those people with missing limbs kind of makes you think twice. Well, Mo could probably use some help with the bodies, dealing with the police. You want to back out? That's your call. I'll check in every 30 minutes. <laughs> For what it's worth, looks like somebody's been through here recently. Spearmint. All right, I'll keep my eyes peeled for somebody with fresh breath. They're going the same way. No, they're trying to. Dangerous. Yeah, it is. Took longer than a couple of minutes, but I got a match. Akbar Parman, known member of Jamaat Islamaya, trained by Al Qaeda in Afghanistan, linked to the Bali bombing in 02. Can you upload his sheet? On its way now. What's your 20? We're through the field at the edge of the jungle now. Frank, are you on? I'm here. Can you make out a path? Yeah, but it looks like there are two of them. She said they walked about a kilometer to a stream bed. Jelani, you got our fix? The map puts a stream bed off to your right. Those 
dream bed. It was dry season, but the rock's still slippery. Uncle Sam helped me carry my baby. He said he had baby boy long time ago in the States. Did he talk about the boy? Did he say his name? No, but he said worst pain in the world is losing family. How long did you walk? At least three hours. Then no more. But Uncle Sam moved quickly, like he see in dark. Then he stopped us at a pool of water near big border. We're here. Uncle Sam said many mines in jungle, on side. Only way through water. Water deep, cold. Sam carry my baby high. On the other side, we see small house. He had a name for it. The hooch. His? I think yes. He walked us straight to the door. That house? Straight to the door. She thinks this is where Uncle Sam lives. Kilmer, this could be it. Dude is very strange. Deals in all this black market crap. Hey, I got a couple hundred uh, bootleg outcast CDs if you're interested. Where is he? Sam? Not a clue. I come back from P-Pen. Okay, he grabs me, brings me here, says that there's these Indo traffickers looking to kill me because of what I told the US Embassy. Tells me not to move, and then he just takes off. How long ago? Been almost a week. That would be your mother. Hello, Frankie. Hold on. Hello? Kim here. Kupu Tiang here. Manai te hi mai. Kong manai te. Looks like a dangerous felon to me. He did two tours? How old were you? Five. Five the second time he left. Only known him for like a year. And I couldn't understand why I wanted to leave us again. The war changes people, Kilmer. It's like Alice in Wonderland. You fall down the hole, you can't get out. That flag in front of our house, I'm the one who put it up every morning. I took it down every night. Man, I was so sure that one day he was gonna come walking up that front walk. You're OK? 
okay, Kilmer? Yeah, I'm probably a while before I know how I feel. A lot of questions and no answers. No, you can't be sure of anything until you find him. Well, there's nothing to do but keep moving. Sure can't count on him to come back here anytime soon. Where'd Miss Tepp go from here? Mrs. Tepp, we need more help now. You bring him home now? Oh, we still need to find Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam Cambodian. He do fine. We need to know where he took you after you reached the hooch that night. You tell them, take him back to Preku. Uncle Sam has information. You bring him home. Information that can save lives. You need to understand. I understand. I understand everything you tell me. You as bring him home. You tell me now. Then go. We finish. Mrs. Tapp. Go! How'd Sam leave when he dropped you off? Went back to the village the same way he came in. I didn't keep going without her help. That area's mine, Kilmer. Between you and me, I'd like to keep my toes. Frankie? It's three in the morning here. If you guys think you're safe, I should give her some distance, get some sleep, and regroup. I'm gonna approach the Colonel for a deal in the morning. Jelani, what about the birds? Any chance of getting a body heat signature? At least to give us a direction. Next flyover available to us isn't for another hour. I'd say it makes sense to wait. Are you listening, Kilmer? Yeah, I'm listening. I just don't like it. Trust us on this one. I'll stay plugged in at the hotel if you need me. been vandalized. Do you mind if I wait here for a tow truck and a cab? It, it won't be long, and frankly, I just, I don't feel safe outside. Gang boys, you stay night in Kima's room. Everybody has their own Cambodia and the reasons why they're there. You waited 25 years to apply for citizenship. If you just done it before 9-11. Just tell me what I need to do to get out. Okay. I've got an image from the bird. I'm putting up a 16 square kilometer grid, you guys, in the center. I've got one signature a click northeast of you. That's pretty close. Could be our man. Hey, Jelani, I'm looking at us, but I think I'm seeing more than three people. Let me magnify. Oh, man. You've got... Get out! <laughs> <laughs> they must have followed us here! Bloody, how many? Looks like three or four. I need to know how you left the hooch that night, how you got past the mines. I told you. Your son is under attack. I need to know how you left the hooch now. Tunnel. There's a tunnel under bed in the corner. Under the bed, Kilmer, there's a tunnel. Mia, take 
I'm up in jungle. Oh my god. Could be Aqua Apartments. It was. Comes in here with his little army, starts stealing heroin for Islam. Worse than the Rouge. Followed you guys in here, didn't it? Got to my hooch? Damn. Now I gotta blow this tunnel entrance. How'd you guys find me anyway? They've been talking to mom. Oh. Finally wised up and believed the kid, huh? Actually, it took the bomb you told him about blowing up in Manila. He says you have more information about another bomb on American soil. Took me the better part of a week to get it. Look, I'll give you guys the city of Honolulu. Nothing more till the kid's on a plane back to the States. That ought to buy us an hour. There's a safe LZ, a couple of clicks from here. Can you get a chopper? Yeah, I can try. You CIA? Homeland Security. <laughs> the clouds that brought Kimir back here in the first place. His mother says his real name's Kilmer. She named him after you. Does that matter? Yeah, it does to me. My name is John Kilmer. 842 West Oak Road, Fort Worth, Texas. Thirty-five years ago. My name is Ray Miller. I was your father's best friend. You thought you were going to find your old man. Mrs. Tepp said that she named her son after the man that got him out. Well, that's right. I wouldn't have been there to help him if it hadn't been for your father. What happened to him? We were on recon just east of here, got in a firefight. I took a round in the shoulder, one in the leg. Your father was moving towards me to help me when he stepped on it. Am I? Disappeared in the blast. I would have stepped on it if he hadn't. It was right in front of me. I see that moment over and over again in my head. I dream about it. I took some of the blasts, too. When I woke up, I was in a farmer's hooch near town. He and his daughter had found me, saved me from the VC. They took your father's tags and his gun belt, left his body there. And by the time I'd healed, gotten back to the clearing, it was gone. This sure he was dead? If he had survived, you'd know it. He loved you and your mother too much to have stayed here. You've got family? Ray Miller died the day your father did. My life is here, but his isn't, or his family. Call in that chopper, we gotta go. You with Uncle Sam now? Yes. They go back to Preku? No, they're heading east toward a place they can land a helicopter. Something wrong? That the way we went that night. I've got the LZ on the map and gave the coordinates to Mo. He's gonna have the chopper there in 25 minutes. Did you get through to Atkins? Here, John. I just got off the phone with the state. They're gonna see what they can do by getting you some Cambodian support. Yeah, well, it's probably gonna be too little too late, but we'll take what we can get. Listen, tell Miller we need more information than Honolulu. We're bringing the kid back with us? You gotta call into the president. I can't guarantee anything until I talk to him. I don't think that's gonna do it, Colonel. We follow Sam through jungle. Come to big clearing. Tall grass. Mind? Many mind. I see. Even Sam, he's scared. But he said, 
There no other way. Follow in my steps. Follow careful. Whatever happens, don't panic. This is crazy. Look, just follow us and stay calm. You wanted to get out of here? This is the way out. I follow behind Sam. My leg. The shaking. Afraid to walk. Go so slow. When we halfway, we hear them. Who? Oh. Khmer Rouge. Behind the jungle. They're looking for us. Who is it? Jamal Smile. They made better time than I thought. Keep moving, I'll pick up the pace. Be scared. Hear them coming. Closer. So close. Then, my baby. He start crying. Uncle Sam, come to me. Put hand over Kima's mouth. But they hear. They hear and start shooting at us. You can't stay out here. Wait for my cover fire. Keep moving! Let's go! Come on, come here! Follow me. Stay calm with the people. They start run. They step on mine. Some shot. Uncle Sam said, don't listen. Don't let me. But he's screaming. <laughs> Ten people die. All children, Kimia and me, we get out. We get out. Keep moving! Somebody's down. John? It's the kid, Colonel. <laughs> Sorry, it's okay. How bad is it? It's a sucking chest wound. I can't get it to stop. Keep laying down cover. Sam, stay there. I've got him. Sam, no! This is him. This is him. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna get you out of here. Take me home. The kid doesn't belong here. Why did you bring him back? Stay with me. Please, stay with me. Come here. Sam. He's not gonna die here. He can't. Sam, he's gone. You've got to hang on. Your mother is gone.
close call in Honolulu today as four men believed to be members of Jamaa Islamia were arrested after driving a rented van filled with explosives into a shopping mall parking lot. The crowded mall located near Pearl Harbor and frequented by military personnel had been placed on high alert just hours earlier by Honolulu police and Homeland Security officers. Successful outcomes like these come through hard work international cooperation, and in this case, personal sacrifice. As a nation of refuge, we depend upon those we've taken in to add to our strength and resiliency with their determination and temper our hubris with their loss. Today, a Massachusetts woman who escaped the killing fields of Cambodia saved a thousand lives and lost her only son helping us to see what we ourselves could not.